सो आफ्टर रोल्स थियोरम वी प्रोसीड इन टू अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थियोरम विच इज लैग्रांज मीन वैल्यू थियोरम what this theorem states that is if a function f of x is condition number 1 is continuous in the closed interval a to b and is differentiable in open interval a to b then the conclusion is that there is at least one value of c b such that f dash c is equal to f of b okay so this is what lagrange's mean value theorem states it states that if a function fx is continuous and differentiable in this interval then there is at least one value of c lying in this interval a to b such that f dash c is equal to fb minus fa by b minus a now as a student you must be curious as to what's the proof of this theorem is so let's proceed with the proof of this theorem i would suggest you try proving this theorem on your own because this theorem can be proved using rose theorem So anyway assuming that you have tried let's see what the proof is what i'll do is let's assume a function xi x as fx minus x okay now since fx is continuous in the interval a to b phi x is also continuous in the interval a to a to b this is because this is continuous and this is a constant and this function is also continuous so fx is continuous psi dash x is what psi dash x is f dash x minus fb minus fa by b minus a okay now since This is constant. Phi dash x is constant, and this is a constant quantity. So phi dash is also con uh, is also continuous. Now, what we need to prove is that phi dash x is differentiable. Phi dash x is what? Sorry, we need to prove that phi x is differentiable, right? So. to prove phi x is differentiable let's see what phi dash x is okay now since fx is differentiable this is differentiable and this is a constant so phi dash is also differentiable right okay and also if you put x equals to a and x equals to b you will find that phi of a is equal to phi of b and that value is what both of these values will be equal to phi a into b minus phi b into a okay so this is first condition of rose theorem this is second condition of rose theorem and this is third condition of rose theorem that means what this function phi x satisfies the condition of rose theorem 
So if this function satisfies the conditions of Rolle's theorem, that means what we can say is that there lies a value of c in between a to b such that phi dash of c is 0. That means what? fc minus zero that means what phi dash x is equal to f of b minus f of a by p minus a so this is what lagrange's mean value theorem states and we are, we are able to prove the theorem okay now let's take one or two examples from rose theorem and lagrange's mean value theorem My first question based on Rolle's theorem is that if ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers, find the condition that the equation would have at least one root in 0 to 1 okay so this is my question the hint is this question can be solved using Rolle's theorem so you try this question on your own now let's see what the answer to this question is. I have to find the condition such that this equation has at least one root in 0 to 1. Let's assume that phi dash of x is ax square plus bx plus c. That means what phi x is what? My phi x I can find by integrating this. D, right? Now if my this function satisfies Rolle's theorem in 0 to 1, that means what? Phi dax x, if this satisfies conditions of Rolle's theorem, that means what? Phi dash x has to be 0 in this interval. And if phi dash x is 0 in this interval, that means what? Phi dash x is this equation. So this equation will have a 0 in this interval, which is what I need to find. So my task is to somehow ensure that this uh, this equation satisfies Rolle's theorem. So if it satisfies Rolle's theorem, that means what? F0 should be equal to F1. Also, this is the polynomial. So it is continuous and it's differentiable. So the only condition I need to ensure is that F0 is equal to F1. What is F0? F0 is D and my F1 is A by 3 plus B by 2 plus C plus d right so dd gets cancelled so my condition is a by 3 plus b by 2 plus c is equal to 0 so this is my condition that would ensure that this equation has a root in 0 to 1 now let's take a question from Lagrange's mean value theorem The question is find C of LMVT that is Lagrange's mean value theorem for which fx equals to satisfies LMVT in 1 to 5. So let's find f dash x f dash x is what so this is my f dash x 
Lagrange's mean value theorem states that f dash c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a, which is equal to f of 5 minus f of 1 by 4. So f of 5 is, put 5 here. If you put 5 here, it's 0. So here I'll get minus 24 by 4 minus 6 by 2. And f dash 6 is what? f dash c minus c by c square. So, if you square both of the sides, you will get a quadratic. If you solve this quadratic, you will get the value of c as plus minus root 15. Now, in 1 to 5, root 15 lies. So, the my value of c for which LMVT is satisfied is c is equal to root 15. Okay. 